Okay, so this is a, basically a reconciliation working. Uh, just one moment, I want to get another piece of paper. Uh, I'm also going to be using a uh, chicken heart. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to address it in a few oils uh, that come back to me kind of oil. This is his heart. So I basically put that in my hand and I say, you are now the heart of, and you put the name of the target. So uh, we're basically saying for him to come back and to open up his heart. This is some healing so that his heart can heal from whatever happened. Uh, so return to me. Uh, no, no. Reconciliation, same sort of oil. Okay, I'm going to put a few uh, bits and pieces on that. I have a little love mix. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to put some cinnamon. Let's mix with a tiny bit of ginger. That is very good for... Uh, that's very good for, uh, you know, just getting traction and... It also is good for love. It love and attraction works. So this is a love mix. It's made from catnip, uh, ground down petals of rose and things like that. Uh, again, a lot of people are asking uh, about the oils and stuff, and I will, uh, I will get back to you on that. Finding the time to get, actually do a video on that, but I understand that a lot of people are interested. Now I have two puppets. Uh, <laughs> So they've been baptized and again i will do a video on that i haven't got a video uh have, maybe there's a, a few videos on the channel i'm not sure to be honest with you but uh i can most definitely an update do an updated one so you're going to need some red yarn uh, or red ribbon whatever you have i like to use yarn because uh, uh ribbon can be a bit chunky maybe get some fine ribbon uh but this isn't a lot. How did this happen? I set this piece aside. I decided, uh, oh, I'm going to have to get my big roll. Just one second. Okay. So, uh, padlock. It's been a while since we've used the padlock. This will lock his feelings, bind him to her. And also, I have put a few oils. I'm going to put some pheromone oil on her doll. And a little bit of, let me see, this is attraction oil for her. So it's important to baptize the dolls, uh, otherwise they're just dolls, <laughs> they don't really represent much, so communication and that's going on both. Use what you have at hand. You don't have to copy this. Uh, these are just uh, bits and pieces that I have made. Uh, reconciliation oil. But use what you already have at hand. Some sort of reconciliation oil, some sort of love oil, that sort of thing. And some success oil on her as well because we want success with regards to the spell and some come to me okay so i think that's enough what i'm going to do is put them face to face i know it's a bit hard to see but uh, i'm going to wrap this around and bind them i'm going to put actually i'll place a little heart in between them and start binding and I do have a, a petition uh, that will go into the jar as well so I'm basically saying that they're deeply in love they he will not wander off again um, they're dedicated to each other they only have eyes for each other and they're physically spiritually and emotionally at one with each other So 
So tie them up like that. Uh, move this out of the way a second. Now I've got some a uh, little bit of uh, I think that's Florida water. I was cleaning that jar out and I used some Florida water. So I'm going to pop them in. Okay. Upright along with the petition that I have anointed with the same sort of oils. I can fold that maybe towards me a little bit. You can bind the petition with red yarn too, whatever suits you. But I'm just going to pop it in like that. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put in some sugar. Uh, one second. Really sweeten the situation up. Sweeten his heart up as well. Okay. And yes, before I forget, uh, I asked Santa Morte for help. Uh, Santa Morte, and I will be also uh, working with Salos. Uh, now I'm gonna find the trusted book. Uh, Salos. I should know. There we go. That's him. Salos is a spirit from the Ars Goetia, Lesh Key of Solomon, and he's a jerk. Two of Swords is the card, Venus is the planet, uh, and Copper is the metal. The 19th spirit is Salos. He is great, sorry, he is a great and mighty duke and appears in front of the god. It's so dark in here, one moment. He appears in the form of a gallant soldier riding on a crocodile with a ducal crown on his head. He's very peaceful. He causes the love of woman to men and of men to women and governs 30 legions of spirits. It's illustrated. Quite an unusual drawing. It's Like I've said before, it's not my favourite book. Uh, S. Conley, her book is my favourite, but it gives references their offices, what they stand for, how they can help. There's no human need that the Goetia cannot help with, in my opinion. Um, they're not to be feared. Uh, a lot of people will refer to them as demons and stuff. Uh, the demon thing, it, it just comes from the Greek word and that basically means wise one, you know. So uh, it's misinterpreted, as is Santa Morte. Santa Morte is not to be feared. Uh, she is about life not death, and about living life and, you know, catching those moments and not to let anything pass you by, you know, because we're here and we're here for a reason. And uh, that's why Santa Marte, you know, she she gives you lessons in life. If, if you know, you come to her for something, she will give you a, most likely some sort of life lesson, but it will be beneficial and you will need it. And it's what's, you know, it will help bring everything together. So uh, I'm going to pop in a bit more uh, ginger and cinnamon into that. And let's see. Uh, some of that precipitation powder. I use this for speed, but at the end of the day, we can't tell how long this is going to take. But I'm going to use it anyway. <laughs> Confetti, because we want commitment. And let's have a look. Confetti. Uh, um, I'm going to put in some road opener if I can find it. Because if there's any blockages, the road opener will help uh, get things opened up, you know, and bring him towards her again. And there we go. And to top it off, I've got some. Love bits and pieces, like I said before, the you know, rose petals, the catnip, uh, cinnamon all put together. Eye bright is in that as well. Uh, there we go. And I'm not gonna fill this up to the top, I think I'm gonna leave it like that, uh, as it is. Oh, nearly forgot. I gotta blow into it, I like to blow life into it. Okay, now. I'm just gonna shake it once. Uh, I don't shake the jars. 
that's one thing I don't do. I don't shake them just initially uh, to get things kick started. But I won't shake the jars because the jars, uh, to me, that makes things unstable when you do that. Uh, I've got something more to candle. It's blue. And I'm going to burn one of these for a few nights. I've got a stack of these. Uh, pretty, very, very hard to get, actually. I buy these in bulk. Uh, from a botanica in Spain. Uh, if anyone wants to know, uh, I think the seller sells on Etsy. I can find, if anyone is interested, I can find the seller's name out for you. It's been a while since I've bought from that uh, shop, but uh, I am doing another order. So if anyone wants to know, I know a few people have been asking for UK, United Kingdom uh, suppliers. So I have mentioned a few, uh, like the, the Village Witch. Uh, I've bought many things from her uh candles and things powerful hand is very good so they're all getting free plugs here but anyway <laughs> that's santa Marte, and that's blue for healing and we're gonna light that and just put it on the top if uh, i can get some wax out of it i don't really have a holder for this but never leave these candles just burning at, you know without a candle holder but I'll be standing over this for five, ten minutes per night. Uh, I sit with the jars for five or ten minutes. I schedule, uh, that's why I'm so busy. I schedule um, a system that everyone uh, that I'm working with gets five to ten minutes on their jar each night after the, you know, work is complete. I'm going to work on this for another probably half an hour chanting over it and things those are things i don't show uh, at the end of the day there's things that i just don't want to show um asking the holy death and you know just getting everything out and also uh the client as well i'll be mentioning the client's name and stuff like that and that stuff you know if the video goes on youtube that cannot be mentioned but this is really how uh, i get things moving uh like i said this goes to the altar uh, and also when I'm finished with it, uh, you know, I will do some work with Salos. Salos is excellent at bringing couples together. Similar to Amon, I find uh, it's like he, he's like a counsellor, a spiritual counsellor. Uh, and I do bring Santa Morte uh, and the Goetia together. Uh, I find that, you know, I have no problem uh just some, Santa Marta is very capable of everything in her own right, but I feel that uh, the Guisha, you know, it's just a little backup, uh, you know, so that's why I do it. So like, share, subscribe. Uh, I'm going to mention this. Uh, I have a membership that I'm working on at the minute. Uh, I'm going to bring the fees down. The fees are too high at the minute. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be working on that very soon to get the fees brought down a bit because I'm not happy with the fees as they are and I'm not really sure what I'm going to be offering as part of the membership but it's there at the minute but uh, when this video goes out uh, I'll probably not have it finished yet so but I will be working on it and uh, it's just that you know you know if, if there's anyone interested that is there uh, I'd like to be offering some spells that I don't want to put directly onto YouTube just for selected people that are really interested in witchcraft and stuff, things that go deeper and things that, you know, just are harder. Because let's be honest, anyone can access these spells and falling into the wrong hands, it's dangerous. So that's why I'd like to put some spells uh, on the membership so that it's harder for, uh, you know, young folks in that to get them. So. At the end of the day, I have to be responsible for things, and it's a good way of actually protecting uh, myself and others from, you know, spells going wrong and things going wrong, and you know, because teenagers are very interested in the craft, and I just I'm always worried about the videos falling into the wrong hands. So that's what I'm thinking about doing and getting sorted. So just to let you know, housemagicgmail.com. Uh, like, share, subscribe thank you for uh, all your so far all the people that have subscribed 12,000 subscribers I'm blown away I never thought anyone would ever look at this channel so I'm grateful you know I really am
So have a good evening.